Hi folks, I just thought I'd make a quick little video showing what a difference having an SSD, a solid state drive in your machine makes. Um, I've had this, uh, this little Lenovo uh, tower system for over a year now and uh, I recently parted company with my um, old HP laptop but before I did I took the, the SSD upgrade that I had in it, this uh, crucial uh, 500 gig drive um, took that out um, before I shipped it and I thought I'll put it in here at some point so I eventually got around to doing it there um, used my home server to uh, to basically put the put the data back onto this drive but I just wanted to show a comparison of how quick an SSD is on exactly the same PC, exactly the same build show you the difference so this is it with um, the original um, normal hard drive in the machine so I'm going to push the, the power on and start this, this timer at the same time so you can see what it's like for comparison's sake so here we go just getting a, a beep off the bias because of the uh, configuration change moving back and forward between the drives. Now this will it'll be fairly quick getting to the to the login there. I'll just quickly log in. But the big difference is the next part which is waiting for the machine to become usable um, because you'll see a lot of hard drive activity um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll launch up the uh, the task manager and you'll see a lot of, a lot of hard drive activity there um, for, for quite a significant amount of time afterwards um, so if I launch this I mean there to actually be able to click on stuff for you know wee over a minute, and there you are. If you look at the screen there, the disk's at thirty three percent. If I look at the performance here, because there's three three drives in the machine, and it's this is the uh, the main drive is 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 this uh, is the C drive. It's maxed out at the minute, it's sitting at 100%. That's it just it dropped off a little bit there. But you're still talking about, you know, a good couple of minutes before this thing's even thinking about settling down. What I'll do as well is I'll launch a browser. Okay, I'm in as an administrator, it's not going to let me do that. I wonder if it'll let me, in fact, it should just let me launch Google Chrome, there we go. So, a good few seconds to just launch a browser. And we're still seeing all this hard drive activity. So what we'll do is we'll stop this clock. And we'll reset it. And what we'll do is I'll change over to the uh, to the SSD, and we'll we'll look at um, how quick it is in comparison. To shut this down, it will shut down pretty quick, I would imagine, even with the, the old hard drive in it, but we'll, we'll, we could compare that as well, I suppose. So if I go for a shutdown on here and start the clock at the same time as well,
and that's it powered off. So 29 seconds to to shut down there. Right, let's get this uh, this little SSD connected up, and we'll look at the difference. So here we go, from the top. I'll just get ready to fire in my password. There you go, we're under the, the desktop already and you know we're only 30 seconds, just over 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, if we look at the performance, look at the hard drive, it's already tailed off, it's all settled down. If I want to launch Google Chrome, there we go, we're in, you know, under a minute and we're firing on all cylinders. Big, big difference, um, you know, even just running your normal run-of-the-mill apps, um, you know, you're talking significantly quicker with SSD. So I'll do a shutdown on this one as well. So if we stop the clock, reset, we'll see how long this takes. I don't think we'll shave off as, as much, as, you know, in terms of shutting down, but we'll give it a try. So if we go for a shutdown, fair enough. That's about half the time. Okay, so I uh, hope that shows you just the difference that having a solid state drive makes as, a, as opposed to um, the older uh, spinning disc technology. Okay, cheers.